This morning, the North Carolina Supreme Court began hearing oral arguments in the Leandro case. And at the heart of this hearing is the question of whether the court can force state lawmakers to release billions of dollars in funding for public education. W. Orioles Joe Fisher is live outside the state Supreme Court with a breakdown of that. Joe. Renee and Jeff, this is a fight over more than $5 billion in education funding. It has been nearly 20 years now since the NC Supreme Court behind me ruled that North Carolina students had been denied a sound basic education. And it took until just last year for the state to approve a plan for how to remedy the situation. Now comes this argument before the court about whether the judge can order the state to fund the Leandro plan, which was approved last June. The plan calls for at least $5.6 billion in new annual education spending by 2028. This year alone, a judge ordered that schools are due $785 million. But again, there is uncertainty over how the schools would actually get that money. Lawmakers and the state controller say the Supreme Court cannot force the legislature to allocate the funds. However, school systems, the governor and the attorney general say the court can mandate the release of funds. If the General Assembly does not live up to its obligation to guard and maintain the right to the privilege of education, what do the other branches of the state, because it is the obligation of the state, what do the other branches have to fall back on? This is, case is not a contest between those who want to fund education and those who don't. The current budget, which was adopted through two comprehensive appropriations acts, approved by the General Assembly and signed by the governor, appropriates more money than ever before any other previous budget, $22 billion over two years. The Supreme Court listened to oral arguments this morning for about an hour and a half. They will soon issue an order, although there is no timeline for when they will do so. In the meantime, the state has made increases to education funding, but so far it has not risen to the level dictated under the Leandro plan. This is something many people will be continuing to watch. And Renee. Joe, I know you're right included in that group following closely live for us this noon. Joe, thanks.